Hey, hey, everybody! This is Larry. This is me trying to do an extra uh, heaven, uh, uh, extra prom that I haven't done before an hour ago. So let's get to it. RNG, let's go. Uh, and today's prom, today's Larry's extra prom is four hundred nth digit. Give an integer n, return the nth digit of the infinity sequence. What is this one? Two, huh? Oh, I see. I see. It. I. I was. Okay, so basically 10 counts as two digits. Okay, okay. Um, eh, it's not an interesting problem. I mean, I think this is fine. Um, it is just, I mean, I've, there are a couple of ways you can think about this one. The way that I would probably think about, I mean, whichever way you think about it is probably the way that you would do it, to be honest. It is, um, the, I mean, obviously you can't, okay. Maybe I take it back slightly. You can't take you. You cannot do one digit at a time. Okay, so maybe you, that is the one way you cannot do it. But uh, but other than that, I think any kind of reasonable optimization is good. And um, and we'll start by just maybe the way that I would think about it, just the number of digits, right? So how many di numbers have one digit, right? So nine um, nine numbers have one digits, right? Have one digit. One digits, hmm. poor math. And then how many has two? I think it's ninety, right? So ninety numbers have two digits, uh, and then nine hundred numbers have three digits, and then and you kind of see the pattern very um, very quickly, right? Um, so and from that, I mean, you know, th that's pretty much it. You write some for loops, right? And to get and you know, it's very easy to get you know, the number that you want, and then at some point you just break it down to the whatever, right? So, okay, so maybe I write some digits, it's equal to one, right? So, current is equal to nine, maybe, right? So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it is how you fit. I mean, I'm just trying to optimize writing it cleanly in my head a little bit, but to be honest, like you, if you, if you write a little bit sloppy, it's fine too. But it is just what you, I'm not thinking of anything crazy, anything advanced. I'm thinking basically what you're thinking at this point. Uh, if you're watching at home, uh, I don't know why I say it like that. Where else would you be watching? If you're not watching at home, let me know where you're watching this from. I'm curious now. Uh, make it safe for work, please. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, let, let's yeah. So while current is um is it greater than I mean yeah while it's greater than I guess if it if it's equal to um if it hmm, I'm just trying to think about the equal to case um so if it's exactly then it would just be the last number, right? I think maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on this one. Anyway, so then here, um, then you have n sub. Is that right? Oh no no no! I think I got this wrong. Whoops, the other way. And if it's a equal to, what happens if it's equal to? If it's equal to, then it is just the last digit of the last number. Okay, fine. Right. So while this is the case, we do n subtract by. Um, maybe this is better like s. Oh, I kind of wrote this in a weird way. Um, hmm, maybe count is a little bit better, right? And actually, this is already off. Uh, but it should be count times digits, right? So then now, uh, count times digits, and count we want to add it by ten or times it by ten, as you can see from the pattern. And digits we want to add it by one, right? So then now we have we want to get we want to get the nth digit number. Uh, or nth digit with um, uh, with digits number of digits. Uh, I mean, okay, that's a awkward way of saying it. That's why I'm a little bit awkward. But uh, but yeah, right. Um, yeah, and basically, you know, uh, so the number is just going to be eh, roughly speaking n divided by um, digits, right? And maybe a leftover. Eh, I guess I could use mod diff, but I'll just write it separately. So then, this is the leftover of um, the digits, right? 
or like yeah um yeah and that's pretty much it um we have to be a little bit careful because number in this case it actually starts at zero right like the zero f number on the 10 di on x digits or whatever so then now you have to um start at a hundred or a thousand or whatever it is so then it should be number we added by um 10 to the power of digits right because if it's one digit then it is 10 so that's not right it's digits minus one that's how i like to kind of check whether i'm off by one you just plug in random numbers if it's two digits this would be 10 so that's good yeah because it starts at 10 right and of course um you can maybe print it for debugging but i don't have to write that anyway so it's a little bit silly but if um let's say you're doing it on a contest and you're kind of stuck and you don't know what to do well and you're just playing around with these things and maybe you're playing around with it but you're yeah you're struggling with off by one well what can you do well for this problem it's actually um i mean it's not the best thing and well you can't submit it correctly anyway but one thing that you could do is just write a brute force like write it exactly how you think about it and then check the answer so then now you have a list of answers that you can check against um to verify you know your other more complicated solution that's one thing you can do. Uh, but today I'm not gonna do that, I'm just lazy, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay, so then now, uh, so this is the number, and then it's just like, maybe I'm off by one to be honest, but um, but yeah, you could just, you know. Uh, yeah, right, the zero of the, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I'm off by one, but. That's basically the idea, right? To, you, to get the digit of this, of that. Uh, oh, because it, it's returning a string. I have to convert it back to an int. Um, well, <clears throat> I mean, I think the um, even without the brute force thing, one thing that you can start with, of course, is just you know, write very obvious numbers, right? So we, for some reason, there's only eight tests. I feel like it used to be that you could do more than eight test cases, but well, but yeah. So then here you can see that I'm off by one because well, if this is zero, well, if this is one, this adds one. So that's a little bit, well, no, I mean, that should be right, isn't it? Uh, maybe I'm off by one somewhere, but you know, that's how I would test it, right? Because you know the answer for these things. I mean, I know that here they give you the expected answer anyway, but of course, you know, during a contest, you know, you, well, during a contest, um, you know, it's, it's better, to, it's good to have an, uh, more inputs in which you know the answer to, and you know these answers because you can produce them manually or like, you know, with pencil and paper or something. All right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So why is this giving me two? So N, maybe I'm off by one, it's fine. Uh, so yeah, so if N is equal to one, Right, so this is not going to be true. So n is equal to one. One over the number of digits is going to be one. Huh. Oh, I see. I see. I think I just off by one because I um. I I I have a zero index in how I thought about this problem. So yeah, because number is zero index the way that I thought about it. Um. Uh, so yeah, let's try this. Okay, it works for this, but of course you, you have to try it for little bigger numbers. Uh, yeah. All right, looks okay. Uh, and here, this is where I'm cheating a little bit just because I'm lazy. Uh, you, you may, you know, uh, cause you know, like I, if you write in brute force, you can actually calculate these like offline or something just to kind of, you know, and I'm just banging on the keyboard. There's not, nothing special about these numbers, but it's just for test to make sure that I'm right. And you know, with these random big num ish, big ish numbers, um, and it's still right. I'm kind of confident, unless I missed like a really edge case. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I have for this one. Um, kind of straightforward. I mean, it's like, let me know if there's other. I mean, other than really brute force, I I think this is pretty straightforward in terms of how to think about it. I don't think there's anything like tricky or nuanced. You just have to be. Um, I mean, obviously. Your speed may not be my speed, just because, um, 
you know, there are a lot of ways to think about it, and like you may have all five ones here or something like that. Um, but but that's just practice, right? So like, but but you can reason like the idea should be pretty okay, even if the uh, uh, Oh, jeez. That's true. That's true. Oh, man. <clears throat> Don't know if I'm allergic to something. Sorry, friend. And I have a sore throat, so maybe I'm coming down with something. But, but yeah. I mean, like, maybe you have off by one. Maybe you have, you know, a little bit, um, you know, have to warm up to it or something like this. But I think the idea is pretty straightforward. It's just what you would think it is. I think the only other thing is... Oh, excuse me. Sorry, oh man, I don't know where I'm going. The only other thing that I would say, oh my, sorry, I'm like half sneezing. Uh, I, I I feel like I'm one of those clickbait videos, just like leaving the uh, leaving what I'm saying to the uh, very end, um, like uh, just wasting time. But I'm just like sneezing, like like a, I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm not sneezing now. Uh, but what I would say is that the only thing that um, you may be a little bit kind of scared about is this like 2 to the 31 number right which is very big but um but I think once you kind of see the structure and I didn't write it out but you can kind of see that um uh this grows like by 10 every time it's actually more than that because it's this number times this but you can see that it grows at least by 10 every time and therefore there's like this log 10 or log base 10 uh thing to it which means which is a roughly another way of saying the number of digits. So 2 to 31 has like 10 digits or something like this, right? Is it 10 or 11? I don't know. Whatever it is. <laughs> Today I'm not. Yeah, it has 10 digits. So it, you know that this will go looping at least at most 10 times. Let me actually go over this complexity, actually. I, I think I missed that. Sorry. Um, Man, the... The sneezing kind of threw me off a little bit. But yeah, um, there's only at most 10 things, but yeah. But... No, ultimately it's just kind of based off this, and you can kind of see this grows at least ten. It goes a little bit faster, but um, but this should should suffice. And like I said, um, this means that this is the number of digits of n, or if you want, it's gonna be log base ten n, right? And of course, log base ten of n in big O notation is just log of n. Um, but keeping in mind that of course in this case, uh, log. Uh, n is the size. N is not the size of the input. N is the number representing the input, and so the size of the input is the number of input bits. The number of input bits is log n, right? Or log of this n. So this is actually um, you can say that this is actually um, linear time. And I guess in that sense, this is like linear space. I don't know, right? Uh, and it's always awkward. And, and yeah. Uh, but yeah, linear time, linear space is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah. Stay good. Stay healthy. Good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.